Okay, so let's say you have five friends who are going out for ice cream. And what happens is that you find each person wants something a little different. And you want to represent this in a Venn diagram. So how do we do this? Well, let's call our, our friends A, B, C, D, and E. Let's say for friend A um, wants vanilla. And so does friend B. And that's all they want. So they only want vanilla. They want nothing else. And let's say that friend C wants chocolate. And that's all they want. Right? That's the only thing they want. But let's say friends D and E, right? They want both vanilla and, and chocolate. How would you represent this in a Venn diagram? Well, a Venn diagram, of course, is made... Uh, from intersections of circles or different shapes here. When there are three choices, in this case our choices are vanilla, chocolate, and both, you need two circles. So let's set those up. Let's have the green, well, you know what, let's use let's use um, a white color for vanilla. So this circle is people want vanilla only. And then let's use a chocolate color here. Alright, so here is for people who want chocolate only. Notice there's an intersection in the middle there. And that, of course, is the both, right? People who want, it's a different color, people who want both flavors would go in here. So you put friends D and E in the middle here. And again, that intersection is both because the two categories are overlapping, right? And then here, on the right-hand side, this is our, our chocolate circle. Well, this area of the chocolate circle, right? D and E are in the chocolate circle still, right? Because they do want chocolate but they're also in the vanilla circle because they want vanilla. But this area of the chocolate circle is reserved for people who just want chocolate. So this is just chocolate over here. And you can put those people in there, and it's one person C. And then what's left? Well, this area over here is for just vanilla, right? Because this vanilla circle already includes friends D and E, because they do want vanilla, but they also want chocolate. So here is just vanilla. They don't want anything else, right? Any other type of flavor. So that's for A and B. So this is your Venn diagram, and you can count these people up if you had to. Sometimes you're given this diagram. This means there are two people who want vanilla, two people who want both, and one person who wants chocolate. The five friends that you have. All right. Hope this helped.